Hello great people, trust you are good. I'll love to ask this simple but hard question. Do you think it's easy to forgive and that you should forgive easily, whether the offender asks for forgiveness or not? Find out from this video. Please, kindly subscribe to Emmy Narrate and share for other people to learn. Thank you. God bless you as you do so. Esther, you have been sulking and downcast for many days because of hurts and worries. You are suffering from insomnia, lost appetite, hardly comprehend or coordinate well because of this issue. I know it's hard, painful, but please, try and forgive your husband and let it go. Is it something I should be happy with? I'm not hungry. What's so special about food? I will never forgive my husband, I can't forgive Douglas for what he has done. Imagine, we built together from nothing. I was the one providing for him and the family, until God blessed him with a job in government. What did he do? He paid me back with evil for good. He rewarded me with betrayal. Never will I forgive Douglas. Hum, I know it's hurts but you have to let it go, move on and start taking good care of yourself. You no longer rub lotion on your body, your skin is becoming dry and rough, you don't eat well or at all, you are starving yourself. You stopped smiling, and is always angry and agitated. You should stop it, please. This has to stop. Welcome, honey. I was your day. My day went well, love. I couldn't wait to get home to see your lovely face. The love of my life, my moon. You are the best thing that happened to me. Thank you for loving me, for carrying our baby. I love you to the moon and back. You are all women in one. The best of them all. How is my baby doing? I hope she is kicking. Honey, you make me blush when you tease me like this. The baby is doing well. Is a he by the way. You are my eternal love, my own, I love you too boo. You are my sun and star. Thank you for choosing me. We are meant to be. Imagine, just imagine, my husband has no shame. He is so shameless. He is posting this lady, this whoremonger, on all social media platforms. He doesn't care about me, at all, he is busy enjoying his life with a strange woman. Another woman, after we sweated together, another woman is enjoying. I am angry and I hate him. Esther, you see, you need to stop. You have rightly said that he doesn't care about you. You need to stop hurting yourself. You have seen and said it yourself. Let me be angry so that God will see. Did he not say, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, whoremongers God will judge. Has he not seen all this happenings? How should I talk to you to listen? I have heard you. Let me just see you off. Thank you for visiting and for your sermons. I will never forgive Douglas. I regret marrying him. I regret knowing him. I regret all our moments together. I regret having children with him. He is so inhumane, an evil and heartless man. Imagine him stabbing me so much. The height of betrayal and insensitivity. I was there for him when we had nothing, he had nothing. I treated him like a king, I took all the responsibilities of the family alone, I worked hard and aged overnight. Older than my age, because of stress. Then the moment God answered our prayers, the moment God blessed him with a good job. Instead of him to relieve me of burdens, he added heartbreak. He went and rented another apartment, got another woman pregnant, went ahead to marry her without my knowledge or consent. He had the tremidity of starting another family, leaving me to continue suffering with our six children alone. He has not been sending any money for feeding or upkeep, they said I should go to social welfare and report him. Is it not another stress going through all that? I have been married to him for 12 years. I have been faithful to him, this is how he paid me back. 
I should have known this is how it will end, I should have known from the beginning. I wouldn't have married him. Welcome Auntie Janet, thank you for coming. Thank you Hope, baby girl, where is your mother? Mummy is in the room. She had been shivering and complaining of headaches since morning, we gave her painkillers thinking it will go, but it's getting worse. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Mrs. Douglas, you seem to be overthinking and worrying. You have to relax your mind and rest. Your blood pressure is way too high, it has exceeded normal. That was why you had a constant headache, you are lucky it didn't throw you down. Welcome, please who are you to the patient? She is my friend, we are family friends, she is my sister from another mother. Alright then. Mrs. Douglas will be placed on bed rest for us to observe her for some time. She needs a good sleep too. Her blood pressure is too high. She has partial palsy from the test we ran. She will recover gradually. It will be a process, she'll have to put away worries, anger and anything that provokes her. I'll write some prescriptions for her, we'll administer some treatments for her, you can get it at the hospital's pharmacy. She'll have to be taking it routinely until it's corrected. She'll have to control what she eats, no much salt in her food, maybe just a pinch, or none at all. She'll not eat red meat again. Her meat should be fish, snails and chicken. She'll have to cut down many things. She'll have to cease from anger and anything that triggers it. She'll have to be taking the drugs daily, else, her health will be more critical. All right, doctor. Thank you for taking care of her. I'll relate to her children and will encourage her too. Please, when will she be discharged? In a week time. It's all right. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Baby. We need to go on a romantic date, what do you think? My eternal love, that's very thoughtful of you, sugar boo. And we need to go for groceries shopping tomorrow. The kitchen is empty. All right, my darling. We will do so tomorrow evening. That's why I love you. Thanks, love. Our little prince will be so lucky. Welcome, Pastor Joshua. Thank you for your warmth welcome. Sister Esther, how are you feeling today? I heard that you were ill and hospitalized. I should have come to visit, but I wasn't in town. I have to come immediately I arrived. How is your health? How is everything? Pastor, I am tired. I have filed for a divorce with my husband. I am going to sue him for adultery while we were married. He didn't just betray me, he neglected us, his children and his responsibilities. He eloped with a strange woman, after 12 years of marriage. I thought I had it all. I was happy and grateful to God, praying for his elevation, but he is enjoying with another woman while me and my children are suffering. I feel bitter, angry and sad. I have developed high blood pressure and have partial palsy because of it. Why did God allow me to fall ill? Stop crying Sister Esther. I understand you perfectly. It is painful and you have every right to be angry. It's normal to say you can't forgive him, but you have to forgive as human. Forgive all hurts and let it go. Forgiveness is not a favor to others but for yourself. Forgiveness is a spiritual drug. God didn't make you sick. It's the result of unforgiveness, bitterness and anger that costs you your health. In Matthew 18:21-22. Jesus taught us to forgive others their trespasses as God forgives our trespasses. So please, forgive your husband. Let go of all ills, ill sayings, the bad done to you by your husband. Yes, he makes you look stupid, he has hurt you badly and deeply. But getting angry, bitter, not forgiving him and letting go only increases risks of health. Unforgiveness, bitterness has led to high blood pressure, hypertension, palsy, do you want it to hurt you more? I guess not. What Douglas has done has pierced through your heart, but he is enjoying himself and not feeling it or care how you are faring. 
Forgive him, let it go, of the hurts and move on. How can I do, Pastor? Ask the Savior to lead and help you, comfort, strengthen and keep you, he is willing to aid you, he will carry you through. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for your faithfulness. In everything you say we should give thanks. Thank you for your daughter, Sister Esther, even in her many trials. We judge you faithful. We ask for forgiveness. Please, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Forgive your daughter, Esther, and show her mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, please help Sister Esther. Comfort, strengthen and keep her. Let her not be consumed because of hurts she is passing through in Jesus' name. Amen. Grant her the courage to carry on, and live well to fulfill her days and purpose on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Grant her the grace, protect her and her children, and make a way for her in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering. Dear Lord, you said in 1 Thessalonians 5:18a, In everything give thanks to God always for all. Father, I'm thankful for the gift of life and everything that has happened in my life and my family. I'm grateful for my children and my life, for giving me another chance at life. Please Lord, forgive me of all my shortcomings, anger, bitterness as I forgive my husband, Douglas, in Jesus' name, Amen. I have forgiven him, I have let it go. I plead for mercy, I ask for divine healing upon my life and grace to live each day well, in Jesus' name, Amen. Please Jesus, take the wheel. I can't do this on my own, I have let it go this moment in Jesus' name, Amen. Father, please make a way where there's no way. Your ways are not our ways. I surrender it all, I trust you to take control in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you Lord for answering. Amen and Amen. God be with you Sister Esther. Amen. Thank you Pastor Joshua, for coming. God bless you. I know you'll ask, what happened to Esther's husband, Douglas? That story for another day. Forgiveness is for our personal growth and spiritual well-being. Without forgiveness we do ourselves more harm than good. We block answers to our prayers. What is that thing that bother you so much and you vow never to forgive or let it go? Your case may not be relationship or marriage, forgive all hurts whether the offender asks for forgiveness or not. Some may steal from you, take what rightly belongs to you. Encroach into your property, smash your car. Be quick to forgive and ask for forgiveness, if you offend someone too. The offender may be deliberately hurting you, and enjoy seeing you burn. Don't give him or her such pleasure. Don't procrastinate. Getting angry and bitter over the offense of others is like taking a poison and expecting the other person to suffer. For your well-being, health, spiritual growth and answers to prayers, forgive even the underserved offender. Don't wait till you suffer illness, arteritis, on drugs before you let it go. Let go and let God. Smile often. I say, smile. Thank you for watching. Please, don't forget to subscribe to Emmy Narrate. Like, and comment for us to hear your thoughts. Kindly share this video to help someone today. You are blessed.